Why are you staring like that? Never seen a town guard before. No. You... You're a human, aren't you? Me? Yes, uh... You could say that. Never been anything else. Wow. My name is Bartholomew Anton Shieldhand, Royal Town Guard of Seastone. And who are you? Um... My name is, um, Willow Brush, um, Weather Wood. <laughs> what kind of a name is that? Well, it's, it's just my name. So you don't want to tell me your real name then? On a secret mission, are we? Mm. Where, where am I? This lovely seaside resort. Residence of the Archmage and home of the Sea Shanty Singers is Seastone. Seastone? Then I made it! Absolutely, I'd say. And here's me thinking that the Orcs were firing grunts at our walls again. I have to see the Archmage. It's urgent. <laughs> then I wish you the best of luck. The guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. He won't let you through to the Archmage that easily. What do you mean by Upper Town? Well, the town's divided into the Upper Town and the Lower Town. The Archmage's Tower is, of course, in the Upper Town. And what's in the Lower Town? Taverns, shops, the common people's dwellings. Well, at least they used to live there. Not anymore. Is the Archmage even in his tower at the moment? I'm not allowed to give out any information on that subject. Those are the regulations. Can you tell me anything about the Archmage? Do you know him personally? Of course I know him. The Seastone Town Guard is also responsible for protecting the Archmage. Why does he need protection if he's as powerful as everyone says? Well, he's not uh, exactly the greatest of warriors. No? No. He's uh, more strange. He thinks about stuff, you know. Strange? Why does he do that? Who knows? Who knows? I have to go. I'll get in to see the Archmage one way or another. Well, I never. I have to get back to my post too. My break's over. So, Willowbrush Weatherwood, who wants to become a pirate. Best of luck on your adventure. We'll no doubt bump into each other again. Thanks, Mr Shieldhand. See you later. I don't think anyone in my family has ever set foot in a human town before, not even Grandad. A very dirty drain. The sewer should be down there somewhere. Halt! Access only for authorised persons. Shield hand, are you the guard of the upper gate? Dead right. And you don't have access to the upper town. Um, uh, as I already mentioned to you at the outer gate, I must speak to the Archmage. It's urgent. And as I've already mentioned to you, the guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. But why didn't you say you were the guard? Well, I wasn't on duty, and you shouldn't mix business with pleasure. Anyway, it's much funnier this way. <laughs> hmm, I wouldn't be so sure about that. There has to be a way to get to see the Archmage. What would I have to do? Only people with personal invitations from the Archmage himself are allowed in. Do you have an invitation? No. Unfortunately not. Well, there you go. Without an invitation, there's no way you'll ever be admitted to see the Archmage. But you could be admitted, of course. <laughs> if you were a mage yourself. Mages are allowed to speak with the Archmage? Naturally. He's the head of the Order, after all. 
You know any mages by any chance? Well, I'd, I'd like to be one myself. <laughs> and I'd like to be a dewdrop on a wood elf's butt cheek. Really? Why? Well, I... Look, only mages or people with invitations can get into the tower. So I'd be able to see the Archmage if I was accompanied by a mage? No, the mage would be allowed up, not you. But you could, say, give a message to the mage. But I must speak to the Archmage himself, and I have to give him something. Well then, you must be a mage yourself. <laughs> How do you know whether someone is a mage or not? Their magical aura? Or by the charisma and wisdom they radiate? By their mage diploma. Huh? Every trained mage has a mage diploma. They can show it to me here, and then I let them into the upper town. So that means if I show you a mage diploma, I can see the archmage? Well, show me an honestly acquired mage's diploma, made out in your name, and I'll take you to the archmage myself. If there's no other way, then I, Wilbrush Weatherwood, will just end up being the first magician in a long line of pirates. <laughs> Good luck. You'll find the mage teacher in the tavern. Just see what he thinks of the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my mage diploma. Just you wait and see. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man. There's no way I can do a full course of mage training just to get into the Archmage's tower. Maybe the mage teacher will lend me a diploma. And once I've given up the ring, well, maybe I could really take a stab at it. You hear a lot of bad things about rundown taverns. On the other hand, they're often the starting point of many a fantastic adventure. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't had enough of those yet. Have you got Form 12B for me? Oh, the blue one! No, it's just a green one. Hurry up, the post office is about to close for lunch. You're going to the post office? Oh, I'll come with you. I need a delivery note and I want to send off a registered letter. What... what are you doing? What do you think? You can see what we're doing. We're playing! Oh, damn, I've forgotten my ID card. You can have a copy of your passport certified by a solicitor. Hang on, I'll mark the solicitor for you on the map. What... what are you playing? The only true kind of game, a role-playing game. And what is this role-playing game all about? It's set in a fantasy world. Totally without dragons, orcs and magic. But instead... Oh! Here, here, here! Come over here! I found the tax inspector! Wait for me! I'll be there in a sec! Once I've got this stamp, I can finally conclude the fiscal year. You know what that means? Tax, Tax office. office! Might I ask you who you both are? Of course. I'm Jack Smith, level 42 consultant at a medium-sized cooperative bank. But I want to retrain as a tax consultant with specialization in tax-effective investments. They have really fabulous skill trees. And I'm Mary Ellen Skittles, level 40, local government officer. My bicycle's got a three-speed gear. I've not the slightest idea what those two are talking about. Maybe it's a role-player thing. I meant, who are you two in real life? Oh, right. I used to be a successful merchant. I had a shop here in town and lots of market stalls. Now all I own is that knackered old stall outside the door there. No customers, no business. And maybe I could buy something from you. Yeah, yeah, great. Why, um, whatever. And who are you? I'm Master Marcus, the local mage teacher. You're the mage teacher. Could you maybe... Shh, the game started.
Master Marcus, I need... Uh... Shh, I'm playing. Yes, but I urgently need... Uh... Later! But without a mage diploma, I can't... Listen, I really haven't got time right now. My character's tax return is due. I've been playing towards it for days. Not a prayer. I'm not going to get a blessed thing from Master Marcus as long as that game is running. Bearing a sign it says server's room, no entry. No choice. What the a hairy demon? He's he's operating a machine. A small black container. It could be an inkwell. The demon might notice if I were to take his inkwell and exact a terrible revenge. The chair looks just like the chair the demon is sitting on. I guess it's a replacement chair. There are a lot of index cards in the filing cabinet. Each card bears a small table and a picture. The cards are sorted alphabetically. Hmm, let's see. Rare watering can, volume five liters. Used for geraniums, increases potted plant lifespan by two. Epic folder, offers room for up to 16 forms. Slip resistant suspenders, prevent sock slippage. Hmm, these index cards seem to contain descriptions of all the items in the game. Now, let's see if we can annoy the demon. <laughs> Oh, that demon's fast. He must have amazing intellectual powers. Time for another go. <laughs> if I were to simply remove... The chair... The chair looks... If I... Time for another go. <laughs> the chair looks just like the chair the demon is sitting on. I guess it's a rep... Mum bottles apple sauce in jars like that back home. Ours are smaller though. The shelves are full of dusty bottles and tankards. Some are still half full. Perhaps the owners are to leave town in a hurry. A wooden box full of tools, including amongst other things, a saw. Of course, the saw doesn't meet the gnome tool safety regulations and it's a tad rusty. Still, I think it's usable. Time for another go. Oh, 
<laughs> Bad idea. I'm not fast enough. And if that beast catches me sawing, he'll have no mercy whatsoever. The server is so busy working that he won't notice a thing. The chair is still standing, but it should tip over pretty easily. Time for another go. That would have hurt the being made of flesh and blood. Hey, what's going on? Ah, nothing's working. Has the server crashed? Oh, oh, and I'm standing in a restricted parking zone right now. Oh, I just about had enough of this. You pay all that money month after month, the developers make huge profits and still nothing works. Everything they've got is junk. All a whole load of Totally outdated technology. I've had enough. I'm writing a complaint. If they don't get their technical problems under control, then I'm out of here. Absolutely. Me too. Excellent. It looks like all I have to do is ensure a second technical problem and the two will finally stop playing. The cart is pretty overgrown. It obviously hasn't been moved in months. There's a sack on the cart. Something about the smell tells me it's probably full of rotten grain. Nothing for me there. There are two signs on the door. One says, Master Marcus's Magic Mage School. The other says, back soon. Both signs are covered in cobwebs. They must have been hanging there for days or even weeks. Swamp of death. I don't think so. Doesn't sound particularly healthy to me. It says the meadows. No idea what that's supposed to be. Some boxes and cartons, they're all empty. A very dirty drain. The sewer should be down there somewhere. For save games. Sorry, couldn't resist. Hey, what did you just hide there? Uh, nothing. Look. 
looks like grapes. In truth, they're grapes from a poison ivy. I was bedridden for two weeks because of those as a child, and I read about Nightilo's adventures. This must be the last market stall the merchant mentioned. Nothing more is going to be sold here as long as the merchant is still playing that strange game. There's a small stone beside the large one. It's half buried in the ground. Ugh. I've discovered the secret world of beetles, bugs, and fleas and spiders. Okay then, I'll collect some of those bugs in the jar. Done. I think I've strained the database enough. Hmm, let's see. What's going on now? The server's gone crazy. Completely buggy. Ah! That's it. I can't be bothered anymore. I'm taking this in. They'll suffer the consequences for what they're doing. Right. Well, I'll give them one more chance. But just one. It's not like we couldn't stop if we wanted to. We could, but we don't want to. Too right. Except if they don't get the grips with their problems. Then it's over. Write that to them. No way. What will it take to finally get those two to stop playing? Excuse me. Hmm? Hmm? Why are you still playing in the face of all these technical problems? Quite honestly, I'm fed up with it. You just want to play in peace and time and again the technology screws it up for you. I really can't be bothered with it anymore. If there's just one more disaster, that'll be it as far as I'm concerned. Oh, come on. Let's go and see if anything's happening at the driving license issuing office. Hmm. If we have to. Wouldn't you rather just quit playing? Maybe you're right, but I've just got to fill out this form. And then I must get a new cleaning cloth for my glasses. And we need to go and pick up the rent subsidy certificate down at the citizen's residential registration office. Oh, right. But then we can extend the loan period at the library while we're at it. Maybe one of the books is even overdue. <sighs> I fear I have to ensure there's a third technical problem. Then, best of luck in... wherever. Mm. Hmm. Thanks for nothing. 
You know, that's about the silliest game I've ever heard of. Why would anyone flee from their own world into a fantasy world in order to complete meaningless tasks? These two use the same machine to play their strange role-playing game. My family would just love this. From butter beer to pumpkin juice to fire whiskey, it's all here, but I don't need any of that. A very dirty drain. The sewer should be down there somewhere. Oh, a fluffy wuffy little bunny rabbit. All white and soft and gentle and sweet. And I just want to cuddle it and... Oh, I'm an adventurer now. I must act like one. It, it's a rabbit. A white one. I already have enough creepy crawlies, thank you. There have been some heavy battles fought around Seastone in the last few years. It looks like the town definitely sustained some damage. The moving companies must have earned a fortune when the city was abandoned. They earned some good coin. They're firmly in goblin hands and no one really likes to negotiate with them about prices. The door's locked. The mage teacher is still sitting in And that makes two complaints in the bin. Those two aren't going to take much more of this. The demon might notice a... The safe is locked and there's no way I can crack it either. The server seems to be bug free again. At least he's back to working as usual. It says online, whatever that means. <laughs> 